the only thing that influences the evolution of creatures is the conditions of the environment on Earth. When we delve deeper into the history of Earth, we discover that certain animal species have been able to thrive across the many geological time spans that have occurred on Earth since it was formed millions of years ago. Here is the list of the top 10 animal species that have survived the longest on Earth. Number 10. Martialis oarica, 120 million years old. The species of ant known as Martialis is the oldest to have been discovered in the Amazon rainforest. Because this species of ant behaves differently than any other recorded species of ant found on Earth. The scientific name for it, Martialis oarica, literally translates to ants from Mars. It is believed that this particular species of ant first appeared on Earth approximately 120 million years ago. The Martialis oarica is 3 millimeters in length, is a pale tint, and does not have any eyes. They used to make their home in the dirt. The discovery of the Martialis oarica ant has allowed biologists to conduct more in-depth research on other species of ants. Number 9 Frilled shark, 150 million years old. In 2007, a new species of frilled shark was found in the waters off the coast of Tokyo, Japan. Because they initially appeared on Earth 150 million years ago, frilled sharks are referred to as a living fossils. This is owing to the fact that frilled sharks have been around for so long. The frilled shark has a length of 1 meter and 300 teeth that are shaped like tridents. These teeth are arranged over 25 rows. It seems that the mouth of the frilled shark, which has a peculiar appearance, is noticeably larger than that of other species of shark. Because of its oily body as well as its liver, which is abundant in hydrocarbons, the frilled shark is able to thrive in the depths of the ocean where few other sharks can survive. Frilled sharks have a reputation for surprising their prey with their incredible power when they attack. Frilled sharks are another species whose population is critically low across the globe. There are a number of factors contributing to the decline in the population of frilled sharks, the most significant of which is an increase in the amount of pollution that is dumped into the ocean and a change in the average temperature of the water. Number 8. Horseshoe Shrimp, 200 million years old. On Earth, the evolution of horseshoe shrimp began around the same time as dinosaurs first appeared in the fossil record. This event took place roughly 200 million years ago. The length of a horseshoe shrimp can be anywhere between 2 and 4 millimeters in length. The capacity of a horseshoe shrimp to flourish in any habitat, regardless of climatic or geological circumstances, is the defining characteristic that differentiates the species from all others. This ability is essential to the horseshoe shrimp's survival. When the breeding grounds for horseshoe shrimp become dry, the eggs of the horseshoe shrimp enter a state of dormancy that can last for a number of years. In 1955, scientists made the astonishing discovery that there was a unique animal living in the ocean. The researchers were also successful in discovering the growth of horseshoe shrimp by rewetting the eggs after they had been dormant for a number of years. The eggs had been in a dormant state for a number of years. Number 7. Sturgeon, 200 million years old. The oldest living member of the family of bony fish is the sturgeon. They first appeared on the planet about 200 million years ago. Both Eurasia and North America are home to sturgeon populations. Sturgeons are the largest fish that live in North American freshwater environments. They travel to faraway lands in order to spend the winter there. Sturgeons can grow to be as long as 5.5 feet and can weigh anything from 600 to 200 kilograms. Sturgeons are now included on the list of species that are in the critically endangered category. Sturgeons typically produce a huge clutch of eggs all at once. However, people take a significant portion of the sturgeon's eggs, which is the primary risk factor for the deep water organism. 
Number 6. Silicant, 360 million years old. One of the fish species that has evolved over the past 360 million years but is now in danger of extinction is the silicant. There are two distinct kinds of silicants found across the globe. They spend most of their time living alone on the coasts of Africa and Indonesia. Silicants can grow to be up to 6.5 feet long and can weigh up to 90 kilograms. The average depth at which silicant can be found is about 2,300 feet below the surface. They can live for a maximum of 60 years. Silicant moves like a trotting horse. The fish is able to create its distinctive movement thanks to its legs, which are shaped like lobe fins. The electrosensory organ allows the silicant to more easily detect its prey while it's swimming through the ocean. Silicants also have the power to enlarge their jaws to seize huge prey. Number 5. Horseshoe Crab, 445 million years old. Before 445 million years ago, horseshoe crabs first appeared on the surface of the Earth. They inhabit the shallow coastal waters of oceans all around the world. Horseshoe crabs are characterized by their tough exoskeletons, lengthy tails, and spiny appendages. They have a total of nine eyes, which are distributed around their body. Out of the nine eyes, the horseshoe crab relies mostly on its two huge eyes, while the others function as light receptors to control its movements. They also have the ability to detect ultraviolet radiation. Number 4. Nautilus, 500 million years old. It is a marine mollusk that dates back 500 million years and first appeared in the ocean. That is a very long time before dinosaurs roamed freely across the Earth. According to some estimates, the Nautilus is the sole member of the big group of shellfish that has managed to survive. The Nautilus can be found in the warm waters of the Andaman Sea, Fiji, and the Great Barrier Reef. These animals live at a depth of approximately 2,200 feet. The Nautilus is sometimes referred to be a living fossil. The body of a Nautilus is composed of several chamber shells. They take on the appearance of octopuses thanks to these shells. The mouth of the Nautilus is protected by a hundred tentacles and its shells are covered in a muscular cowl. The Nautilus will have an easier time defending itself against predators as a result. Number 3. Jellyfish 550 million years old each of the world's oceans is home to its own population of jellyfish with umbrella-shaped heads. Jellyfish are the oldest multi-organ organisms that have ever been discovered on this planet. 550 million years ago, they developed in oceans all over the Earth. They are completely devoid of a brain and nervous system. There is a wide variety of both appearance and color among jellyfish. Their bodies are composed of water for the most part almost 90%. In addition to that, they are famous for eating various kinds of jellies. The most poisonous species of jellyfish on Earth are members of the family known as box jellyfish. More than 5,000 stinging cells are distributed over their tentacles. Number 2. Sponge, 580 million years old. Sponges are a unique type of marine invertebrate that have the appearance of plants but actually live in the ocean. Before 580 million years ago, they made their debit in the waters of the world's oceans. There are around 5,000 distinct species of sponges found across the globe. They establish colonies at varying depths in the ocean and dwell there together. Sponges are devoid of heads, arms and internal organs of any kind. They possess a unique ability that allows them to regrow any missing body parts and a new sponge will develop from the old one. Sponge bodies contain many canals, which provide a safe haven for a wide variety of aquatic invertebrate and vertebrate species. Number 1. Cyanobacteria 
2.8 billion years old. They are the oldest living system that has been dated anywhere on the planet. The first appeared 2.8 billion years ago and were the first microbes ever to generate oxygen through the process of photosynthesis. Because of this, they were an integral part of the process that turned the atmosphere of Earth into an oxidizing one. Cyanobacteria are frequently referred to as green bacteria because of their color. Microfission is the method of reproduction utilized by unicellular cyanobacteria. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching!